What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Glamora and Don Dozo team for ranked regulation each. Now, when it comes to Glamora, I haven't used this Pokemon in a good bit, but it is definitely still an elite Pokemon and definitely an elite option for regulation each. Now, Glamora is a rock and poison type Pokemon, rock and the grass terror type for today's video. It's got toxic debris, which is its signature ability, and it is holding the focus sash at its item. It's got a great move set of power gem, sludge wave, spiky shield, and earth power. Like I said, Glamora is just such a strong Pokemon. I feel like every time I use it, I'm always playing well with it. Now we have Don Dozo on this team as well. No Tatsugiri, which is kind of weird, but when you look at its moveset, it kind of makes sense. It's got Unaware, it's got Leftovers, it's got Wave Crash, Fisher for first turn, well not first turn priority, for a one hit KO move, and then it's got Yawn and Protect. So definitely a fun little play style with Don Dozo today. Hopefully we can land a Fisher. it's 30 accuracy. We're gonna try at least, hopefully try. We'll see how this one goes. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features some absolute units. You got Arch Ludon, you got King Gambit, you got Annihilate, and you got Dragonite. Now, Arch Ludon's got the Power Herb and the Stellar Terror type, the Rock with Electro Shot. King Gambit's holding the Safety Goggles with Defiant. Annihilate's got that Choice Scarf with Final Gambit. And last but not least, Dragonite, obviously there with that Assault Vest. It's got E-Speed with Terror Blast. A lot of different options for this team to go. I feel like we can pull up some wins for you guys. Guys, wanna run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Glamora and Don Doso team. First match on its way, and this one could honestly be real tough. They got two sides of the team. They got Indeedy Braviary, or I should say Hisuian Braviary, with Porygon 2 for like a Trick Room side of things. And then they got Torkoal, Jump Bluff, and Charizard for more of a Weather War Sun kind of side of the team. So, I don't really know how to play this one. I'm going to be honest with you. Sun seems like it could honestly just like rip through us. We do have a few good Pokemon to kind of deal with it, like Lamora and Archaludon. But I would have to Terrasalize Archaludon and probably rip an Electro Shot. But if they want to go into that dark kind of typing, or not dark, that psychic kind of spam play, we could just leave King Gambit. But the thing is, if I'm wrong here, then the fire could potentially just rip up into it. And honestly, I think we just go like King Gambit and Glamora here. And then if we have to swap, we got Don Dozo, which I like. And I could also go into, ooh, I could go into Final Gambit Annihilate and just go one for one here. That wouldn't be a bad play for us with the Choice Scarf. I think I'm really down for that. Just being able to final game, but I'm so down. They got a lot of fast book. Well, you know what? We're going to go into Glamora and into Annihilate here. And then we'll bring down Dozo and King Gambit for late game. Yes. That is what Papa wants. That's what Papa Jeans wants. We're doing it. Let's look for a win here in match number one. Hopefully get things started off hot here. But this might be a good match for us to try to pull off a of Fisher. Because like, if you think about it, they're like chilling in the sun with all those fire type Pokemon, they're not really going to be doing a lot of damage to us, unless obviously the Rock and Solar Beam, which there is a slight chance that they are, but if they're not, I mean, Fisher can work all day, we'll start sending him, but I am going into the Fire Squad, um, we are going to Final Gambit this, uh, I got Focus Ash on my Glamour, don't I, I should, yeah, so I'm going to Final Gambit this Torkoal, and I just think Power Gem's got to be the call here, I think Power Gem's got to be the call, there is a chance that you do Terrasalize like Grass, but I still think we're fine. We're going to go final game into this Torkoal. Let's get rid of this thing. There's a chance that Charizard would protect rather than Torkoal. So I'd rather get rid of Torkoal anyway. Torkoal's just that absolute powerhouse. So we're going to see a Terra type pop out here. Please be Torkoal. Please be Torkoal. And we just final game it down. It's going to be you. Should I have Sludge Wave? No, it's still fire. Beautiful. Awesome. Dope. Cool. We got Focus Ash. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. So Torkoal, as long as you don't protect, this should be a really good turn for us. And you're going to help a hand. All right. Actually, that's still a good turn for us. It's still a great turn for us, because watch what's going to happen. Final game, it's going to fly through here. I want to say bye-bye to Torkoal. He's going to be like, oh, cool, I get to take out Glamour for free. But little does he know. Little does he know that this heat wave's about to miss. Probably not. But little does he know that I got the one and only best item for the situation, the Focus Sash, baby. Focus Sash comes out. Glamour is chilling on the field, and now he's chilling here. He's like, hey. Hold this power gem. Right to the face. Later, Charizard. Later. Get him on out of here. Not star for us so far. Not a bad play for us. So using the focus ash. I always love the focus ash. It's just just a staple in the Pokemon community. It's just so good. But now I could go into like Don Dozo. There is a chance that they do have I'd rather save Don Dozo. Don Dozo is gonna be a savior. 
He's gonna be a save. I was gonna say, there's a chance that you can do go into Psychic Pokemon here. You don't have Terra anymore. There's a Psychic Pokemon. This is what we wanted. That's why we got the King Gambo. Is this gonna be Indeedy? I wonder if their second Pokemon's gonna be Indeedy. I wouldn't mind it. I got this Dark type just chilling here. Pristine. Pristine position here. Pristine. So they don't have Terra anymore. I can't Sucker Punch. I already know that. They could go for Follow Me. There is that chance. And they are gonna Psychic Seeds pop for that Special Defense boost. Um, I could Spiky Shield, but I'd rather just try to Power Gem this thing down. And I could just go for an Assurance here. I could just go for Assurance. Hopefully they hit me first, because then this Assurance would be double damage. So let's see what they want to do, because I'm keeping my typing. My typing's so good right now. I still have Don Dozo, which is actually pretty decent here. He ends up just protecting Braviari. That's fine. We're going Assurance into the uh, Indeedy slot, which is good. So at least we get off some value out of this turn. Power Gem's going to get blocked. You going for a Gleam here? Assurance goes first, and it's 60 base power. It does great damage. That's great damage. And you pop a Trick Room. The Trick Room's here on the field. They got Trick Room. I thought those was actually kind of slow, isn't it? Aren't you a little slow poke here? What's that? 56? Oh, yeah. You got to thrive out in this Trick Room. So I'm just going to let this uh, Glamour just die out. It could spike you. always have some turns. But I'm going to go Power Gem here. And honestly, I'm going to double down into this Braviari. Kind of force him to go for Follow Me or something. But he ends up going Helping Hand. But you got Cook in your brain, you already, because I feel like you're dead either way. Assurance actually outspeeds, doing big time damage. Brave is gonna rock Heat Wave. Hold up, you got. Hold up. What you got Heat Wave for? I mean, it makes sense you're in a Sun Squad, but. Come on now. Come on now. Alright. You're gonna go for the Psychic Spam play. Brave is gonna lose a little bit of its HP. Um, Honestly, Don does it. You might be slower. Then King Gambit, you are. So you're going to go first in this Trick Room. This Trick Room honestly helps you out. This Trick Room helps you out. And I think Wave Crash should be able to do enough damage to get rid of this, uh, this Braviari. I could honestly protect, but honestly, these Trick Room turns kind of help us out. I'd rather take out the Braviari first. So I'm going to go Wave Crash into the Braviari. Yeah, let's do it. Please don't protect Braviari. Please do not protect. Don Dozo. Nice little bulky Pokemon. Ready to, ready to go. Ready to rip it. Helping Hand does come out here. Perfect. Perfect. Don Dozo should outspeed. Correct. Wave Crash should finish off. Even in the sun, no problem. Stab. See you later. Good, good game. Thanks for playing. So now I'm just going to protect it. Waste out this last turn of Trick Room. Well, not Trick Room. Last turn of Sunlight. And then be able to Wave Crash this uh, Indeedy down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don Dozo also has 250 HP. Which is awesome. I think it's just an absolute bulk. But we don't need a Sunlight here. We don't. And they just cancel the match, so GG's. One note gets the video started. Glamora and Don Dozo getting after it. Time for our second match, and we're going up against a little bit more of some size spam. They got themselves in DD Arm Rouge, the combo since day one in Scarlet and Violet. They also got Drift Blim, probably holding Psychic Seeds if I had to guess with Unburdened. Then they got Toxtricity, Annihilate, which could be honestly the same Annihilate as us. Final Gambit, Choice Scarf. Definitely a possibility here. Max out on speed. We got Nature of Speed, so. We could go into it. We could go into it if we want to. Again, we do have to watch out for Final Gambit. Just a bit scary here. It honestly is a bit scary, but who should we lead here? I definitely want King Gambit in here. Do I want my own Annihilate? I might honestly lead my Annihilate here. I feel like our best lead is going to be Annihilate and King Gambit. It's just hands down our best two leads. So I'm going to go into both of them. Um, late game. Archaludon could be solid, but I mean, two fighting types with Como oh, and Annihilate makes it a little scarier. Dragonite's not bad. Now, there's this nice little bulky Pokemon again. You got Ice Spinner to take out the rain. Would we want to lead you? I think I'd rather lead Dragonite. Just bust down terrain if they want to, you know, get the terrain cooking. So I'm going to go these two. I'll bring King Gambit. And last but not least, we're going to go Glamora. I just like Glamora. Glamora just rocks, man. No pun intended, even though it's a rock type. It's such a cool Pokemon. It really is. Like, at first, when this game first came out, I was like, ooh, Glamora's kind of, like, weird. And then I used in competitive. I was like, whoa. Whoa. I take back all my statements I made about Glamora. This Pokemon is absolutely amazing. I love it. It's a Pokemon that grows on you. And that trainer card's sick. But Gon trying to walk up steps that are too big for itself. That is hilarious. Round of applause to this trainer here. But Ndidi and Armourouge come out here. I don't mind. I'm just going to dump on this terrain. I'm going to say bye-bye to it. And I am choice scarfed. I could just start coaching this Dragonite. To be honest, it'd be a good place for us. Nice little coach action. 
Yeah, I'm cool with this. I got the AV. A little ice spinner here. Just get rid of terrain. I'm gonna coach up. They probably think we want to go for Final Gambit here as well. Which is not the play. Follow me comes out here. No big deal. No big deal. Dragonite, I'm hoping, outspeeds this arm rouge, correct? I really am. But coaching, of course. Oh no, it still goes into my Dragonite? Awesome. I was gonna say follow me. Takes away, but still goes into my Dragonite, which is awesome. Ice Spinner going through launch. Bye bye terrain before Arm Rouge can even attack. And we do respectable damage there. Bye bye terrain. Good call on Arn. Spanning Force gonna fly, and my Annihilate doesn't get touched by this. Cool. Let me soak this all day. Beautiful. So I'm gonna coach up again. And I think now's a good turn for me to go for Stop and Catch him. And just keep poking up. They're gonna swap in Didi. But who are they gonna swap him into? I'd rather just go after his Arm Rouge. I'd rather just go after Sarmers, and they don't swap Ndidi, that is weird. I guess they want to go for a fairy move with Ndidi? Is that the play call? Is that the play call? I don't know, but Dragonite's going to be able to just stomp and catch him through. Probably KO Armors plus two. Yep, see you later. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. So I'm choice right now into coaching. I could honestly just like swap an Annihilate, which might be my play, but you're just going to go after Annihilate. That's fine. That's fine. You keep dealing damage to my Annihilate. Annihilate's just here to coach up Dragonite, which is pretty much done already. Plus two on the fence, plus two on attack. Come on now. Come on now. Now, they know we have Stomping Tantrum. They know we have Ice Spinner right now. Armors is gone. They haven't swapped in DD yet, which is still pretty good for us. Um, I could start E-Speeding. Ooh, ooh, I could start E-Speeding. I could start E-Speeding. So, let's see who they go into next. They are going to go into Toxtricity. Now, Toxtricity, they know I have Stomping Tantrum. Let's be honest here. They know I have Stomp and Catch them. So honestly, I'm just going to do this. And I'm just going to go into Flying Terra. Mm, I really don't want to go into Flying Terra. I'd rather just E-Speed this Toxtricity down. You might even protect it. Do I take out Ndidi instead? No, because if they protect Toxtricity, then... What are you going to do? Take out my Annihilate? We're just going to E-Speed this Toxtricity. Which draws Ndidi. So Ndidi gone. He wants that terrain for later. And if I had to guess, this is probably Drifflin. No, Como come out here. Como is here. E speed's going to launch. Do beautiful one hit KO damage. And we're just going to coach up again. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. A little bit of coaching, actually. Good thing that uh, Como is uh, physical attacking because my defense boost would have went to waste. So obviously, we can't go into what's called anymore. Can't go into E speed this turn. We're going to have to break down terrain, which we'll just take out in DD because chances are you are going to terrestrialize into steel, right? Como O? Had to guess, right? You, you do not want to take an ice spinner. So I'm just going to go after Ndidi. I'm just going to make sure that I get rid of that and then just focus down here. Pretty simple match for us. For the Jeans community. Pretty simple match. I could honestly swap an eye leap. That would be my clutch for later. It would be clutch. And we could just go into you. Yeah, just in case we need it. And then we'll just go ice spinner into Ndidi here. I think Follow Me comes out here regardless, but no, they just canceled the match and we get a sweep in match number two. So, so far, so good. We're 2 0. Time for our final match going up against an Incineroar meta squad. We're sitting 2 0, looking for a nice, lovely, perfect record. Looking to go 3 0. They got Incineroar, Garchomp, Dragonite, just like us. Lola Ninetales, Amoongus, and King Gambit, again, just like us. Now, they could lead Incineroar. I could go into my King Gambit, like, just like Defiant Block it, and I kind of like that just because. It's not only it's typing, but again, it's ability. It's got dark terror type, which could help us out up against Garchomp. So yeah, I'm going to go King Gambit here. Get that Pokemon rolling real hot here. And our next lead could just be you. I wouldn't mind just going into a final game and just getting rid of Pokemon. Yeah, I don't mind that. So I'm going to go into these two. I'm going to bring Arch Loot on. If I get rid of Garchomp, we can really be sitting good. And last but not least, do we go Dragonite with Ice Spinner? Or do we go Don Dizzy? We're going Don Dizzy. We're going Don Dizzy. I don't know why. Don Dizzy was just giving me a look. He's like, yo, put me in, Jeans. Put me in. I'm ready to roll. So I'm giving him that last spot. We're going to at least, hopefully, try to go for a Fisher here to finish off today's video. We're going to grab ourselves a winning record. Who cares if we lose? We're having fun out here. We're having fun out here. I would love to go for a Fisher. Hopefully, I can land one. That'd be awesome. But Defiant is going to boost us up right here. Nice and early. Um, I can final gambit this. Who would I rather final gambit here? Garchomp. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm more worried about Garchomp than anything. So I am gonna final gambit this Garchomp. I'm just gonna protect my boy right here. 
And we're just going to say go for the one for one here. Going for the one for one. A little bit of Final Gambit action. They're, they're not ready for it. Usually, you only think Final Gambit for the most part. Whenever you see like Trick Room surrounding Annihilate. So I don't think they're gonna protect Garchomp. I think they're gonna maybe try to fake out our King Gambit. We're just gonna simply protect it. They could read that protect. That's a pretty easy read to make. But I mean, as long as I get rid of this Garchomp, this turn is great. This turn is great. Cause then I can really thought about with my other Pokemon. Garchomp's just such a big threat. Protect comes out from you. That means Garchomp's not protecting cause we're slower. He's gonna go for the fake out. He didn't wanna make the read. I block it up and everybody wave bye bye to Garchomp. Garchomp, bye bye. See you later. Have fun. Bye bye. I'll take that one for one all day. I will gladly take that one for one. Now, King Gambit's plus one on attack, which is gorgeous. Chances are they want to rip a Flare Blitz into me. And I could go into Don Dizzy right here. Could go into Don Dizzy. I could I could just get Koken with Arch Ludon with Electric Shot. Or I could go in at Don Dozo. No, we're going in Arch Ludon. We'll save our Don Dozo. We will save it. We will save it. We will save it. Oh man, Don Dizzy would have been actually pretty good here for the Samoogus. Just trying to spam a Fisher and land it. So they can spore me all day. Um and sorry, I just want to go into this Dark Terror type. I mean I'll plus one and I'll go into Assurance here. And I mean you could rip a in all honesty, you could rip a Rage Powder here, but I want this plus one special attack boost. So, I'm going to hit this Terror Button on my King Gambit, just so we don't die out to a measly Flare Blitz. And honestly, I'm kind of hoping that Annihilate hits me first, because then this Assurance becomes double damage, which is great news. Plus one stab, Terror Boost it, Electro Shot's actually flying first, and there's no Rage Powder coming out here, so they're looking to put me this night-night. They're giving me some... Some melatonin right now. They're gonna go put me to bed. They're gonna put me to bed. But I'm gonna power herb up here. I'm gonna launch an electric shot. Luckily, it is staying into this incinerator slot. And we do respectable damage at half. And he's gonna end up flare blitz. And so assurance coming out here, gonna be double damage. Oh, you get a crit. We ah nah, mm, we don't like that. <laughs> we don't like that at all. Assurance gonna be base 120 now. Stab, terror boosted, plus one on attack. Bop. Later Amoongus and the crit guys repay us. So you get a crit, I get a crit. That's how I like RNG to work. That's how I like it to work. That's big time for us. So now I can just like Sucker Punch around here. Honestly, Sucker Punch would probably KO the Incineroar at this rate. Um, and who's your final Pokemon? I would love to get out Don Dozo here. It's gonna be Nine Tails. Oh, all day. We're s we are so swapping Annihilate for Don Dozo. We're gonna Sucker Punch for the KO. <clears throat> and we're going for Fisher to win this game. Do not cancel the match. Do not cancel the match. Do not. I repeat, do not. Obviously, we could just stay in here and flash cannon and make make life ten times easier. But, but, I want to go for a Fisher. I want to go for a Fisher. Who cares if we lose this match? We're trying to have some fun here. We're trying to have some fun. So the good thing about uh, Incineroar is it doesn't rock protect, which is pristine for Sucker Punch right now. Pristine for Sucker Punch. And they're probably thinking, yo, why is why did he swap there? Why didn't he just launch a fla flash cannon? He doesn't know I'm trying to trying to drop a Fisher here. They're gonna end up terrestrializing. A little nine tails. Think we're throwing flash cannon in that slot. No Incineroar. That's that's bad news. That's bye bye Incineroar. That's bye bye Incineroar. All right, cool. So we waste out their Terra as well. Suck a punch. Look at that Dozo just like taking up the screen. Suck a punch gonna. Oh, we get a crit on that too. Now nah, I feel bad, but we were KOing regardless. Rocky helmet. So Rocky Helmet comes out here, um, and you are going to Blizzard or Warbell? That's a Gleam. Gleam Gleam comes out here. Alright, we're going for a Fisher. We are going for a Fisher. Could have Freeze Dry, there's a chance, but I could pretty much just drop a Flash Cannon at any time and just rip up into this thing. Could be Sashed, could be Likely. Three different item options. Alright. Arch Ludon, get on out here. So from here, we are just going to... Um, I guess we'll just protect them. We're going for Fisher all day. I could actually put you to sleep, but I'd rather just go for Fisher. No! No! We wanted to go for Fisher. It's all good. We go 3-0 for today's video.
So guys, quicker video today. Rocked out with the steam, went 3-0. Did not get to drop a Fisher, but you guys cannot tell me I didn't try. At least we used on those in today's video. Dropped a few wave crashes, picked up a few KOs, outpoked our opponents, and also got the Rock out with Glamora. The two Pokemon that I was that I was kind of wanting to showcase for this video, and it worked out perfectly. Like I said, 3-0 perfect record. Just dominated every single team we burst. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.